Good afternoon, everyone. So excited to have you join us tonight at 630 at 8801 West Union Hills Drive in Peoria, Arizona, Building D, Suite 200. So we're in the upper floor. Um, we're having a healing night once a month. We have a healing service where we're just there to bless the Lord, to worship him, and then respond with, uh, with whatever he gives us to pray for people. And I did hear him earlier say that he wants to deal with addiction and bondage. And so you might wonder, you know, why I don't need, I don't have an addiction. I don't have any bondage, but you might have something going on in your soul. Soul sickness leads to physical sickness. Soul sickness is because we are separated somewhere in our soul from our creator and, or we don't have our identity wrapped into our, in our creator, into that area. So bondage is being subservient to something, whereas addiction is a chronic compulsive psychological need for a habit forming substance behavior or activity that has harmful effects psychologically or socially uh, typically causing well-defined symptoms such as anxiety irritability tremors or nausea to give you some example so we see a very clear connection between soul sickness and addiction addiction does not have to be substance addiction can be behavioral so you may have developed ways of reacting um, there is a way to be emotionally mature and a way to be emotionally immature and you may find yourself cycling over and over again every time you find yourself feeling like you're being rejected by somebody or you're angry or disappointed or whatever maybe you just have a lot of uh, anxiety, you know, you, inappropriate anxiety and fears, phobias, crazy little things that really sh are not logical. And so I believe the Lord wants to touch those things. He wants to br bring you into that freedom that Jesus has given. The Bible says who the sun sets free is free indeed. And what that means is they are truly free. Like there's no hanger on. We may have to work out some things, you know, in our lives, and that is true, and I personally have had to do that. We have to let our minds be transformed by the reading of the word, so that's important. But there are some things that are demonically oppressive or demonically posed or causing demonic possession and the lord is in the deliverance healing business that is what he does he delivers nations he delivers people he delivers families businesses communities churches amen he is a deliverer so if you're looking for something and you need help in these areas don't hesitate to either get online and put your prayer requests out there although it is better to be here in person and or if you have a healing need for something else feel free to put it on our website or i mean on our send us an email or put it on our facebook youtube videos when we're when we're streaming which we will be tonight at 6 30 and we will pray for you and um so god bless you on your jesus journey look forward to meeting you online or in person